Hello everyone. Whenever we talk about life insurance in India, there's only one thing which comes in our mind. That is LIC. LIC has almost 65% market share in the insurance sector. It has more than 29 crore policy holder, which is even more than the population of countries like Pakistan, Brazil, Bangladesh. And if all the LIC policy holders come together, then it would become the fourth largest country in the world in terms of population. LIC is so big that in 2017, government of India budget was 384 billion dollar, whereas LIC asset under management, that is AUM, was around 400 billion dollar. LIC has contributed a lot in the India's economic growth. In today's video, we are going to learn about how LIC was started and how did it become so big. So let's first learn about the history of insurance companies in India. It all started back in 1818. Oriental Life Insurance Company was the first company which came to function on the Indian soil. It was started by Europeans in Kolkata. Their main focus was to cater to the growing number of Britishers in India, but however, the company failed in 1834. Then in 1870, the Bombay Mutual Life Assurance Society, the first Indian life insurance company, was started and came into the existence. In 1912, the Indian Life Assurance Companies Act was passed to regulate the life insurance business in India. After we got independence, a lot of medium and small-sized insurance company got started, which led to a high level of competition. There were also allegations of unfair trade practices. The insurance company were only targeting the upper class and the urban areas only. But back then, the majority of people lived in the rural areas and were near the poverty line. Where they were barely able to manage their livelihood, even they were dependent on just the earning of one family member. And if that one family member dies, the family becomes vulnerable and will be pushed into poverty. Indian government found this a very big issue, so to cater all the Indian classes, the government took over almost all the Indian and the foreign insurance company and nationalized them. Almost 245 insurance company were brought together, and LIC was formed. The LIC had monopoly till the late 90s. That means no other insurance company can function in India. Today, LIC have more than 2,000 branch offices, which back then in 1956 was just near to 200. But now the major question is, how did LIC grow so fast? We have generally seen that public sector companies don't function effectively, but that was not the case of LIC. In early 2000s. Private players started entering the business, but LIC still kept growing, and there were three major reasons. First, focusing on rural areas. The poverty in India was so much that nobody was willing to buy an insurance. It took LIC about 30 years to educate the rural population and convince them to spend for insurance policies. They could do this with the help of their agents, which were present at all the corners of the country. Then finally, LIC got some results. As a large number of rural population started subscribing for their insurance policies, the second reason is that LIC has one of the best claim settlement ratio of 98.3 percent. That means out of every 100 people, LIC settles claim of more than 98 people. This is a major important factor for LIC, which keeps the faith of people alive and helps LIC beat its competitors. One of the other best strategies of LIC was that it undertook a decentralization process. Instead of taking regular approvals from the head office every now and then, every branch could now make decision independently. This really made the claim settlement process very fast and effective. Also, employees treat the customer very nicely and respond very quickly. LIC employees were not like the other government employees. Employees treated the customer very nicely and responded in a very quick manner. They were said that if they delay some processes even for a small time, then this could seriously affect the life of several people. Even LIC spends a lot of money on the training of its staff. And now the third reason is that LIC didn't only focus in India, but also in other countries like Kenya, Mauritius, Saudi Arabia, UK, and lot others. You can also call LIC as India's Berkshire Hathaway. as it is one of the biggest institutional investor which has a stake in almost every other major company for example it has more than 15% stake in itc and around 12% stake in lnt and here's a list for you make sure you screenshot it this was just a short summary of lic growth story and also lic agents played a major role in the overall growth but however lic is now facing tough competition from private players especially from hdfc life 
which is the second largest player in India when it comes to insurance and it has around 5 crore policy holders. I hope you learned something from this video. Now make sure you like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such quality content.